Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support of the channel. As always, today we are going to... Well, I've been avoiding this. Not really avoiding it, but I had to have a think about it. Because we're getting to the Tier 8s now for what's the best. And there's a lot... First of all, there's a lot of Tier 8s. Second of all, there's a ton of premiums. It is my contention that Tier 8 is as imbalanced as Tier 10 is. It just gets covered up by seeing 9s and 10s, so you don't see it as much. So there's a lot going on at Tier 8. We already did the artillery. Those were pretty easy because there aren't any premiums kind of clouding. Even so, there's quite a bit of controversy. And as always with my rating system here, it's not published. I make it up as I go along. I feel free to change it, and it's not super objective. <laughs> we do use real numbers, though. We do use real numbers. What it comes down to really is we can find the top five of just about anything, especially in a, a large group like this, or when we get to the mediums and heavies, even larger groups. So it's there's no real question about what the top, in my opinion, about five is. But we really can kind of start cutting hairs and splitting hairs. Cutting hairs? Splitting hairs when we get to the top one, two, or three, and it becomes somewhat subjective. Uh, or a lot subjective. It's as subjective as I want it to be because this is my video. <laughs> so I throw that out for everybody. Feel free to send your uh, your comments down to the comment section. Uh, take ob Object to my opinions and uh, prognostications. That's not the word. I don't know. Go ahead and feel free to disagree. All right. The coffee's nice. Having a nice morning. It's all good. I hope you're having a nice morning and have a fantastic day. All right, let's get into it with the Tier 8 light tanks. At Tier 8 is kind of where light tanks start to come into their own, I would say. Especially since they changed the equipment and we now have the CBS thing going on. That's a huge game changer for Tier 8, 9, and 10 light tanks. Tier 7s don't get that, as we mentioned in the Tier 7. So what are the best light tanks? Well, we're getting a little bit into the, the wheeled tank thing here as well. The EBR at Tier 7 was good, but wasn't a real contender. It was up there. But we have the uh, the FL-10, which is just a very good light tank. And of course, it's a wheeled tank. So now we have the argument, is it really, should wheeled tanks be their own class? Is it really a light tank? There are some things that it can't do, like it can't carry a CVS, for example. It, in theory, has bad view range but of course the speed helps it get in a little deeper and so that doesn't matter as much a lot of stuff going on we're going to look at the numbers the other contenders from what i can see are the elc even 90 and the 432 lt 432 two very different i mean that you you really couldn't have three more different tanks in the top three the wheel tank sprayed roach yolo yolo mobile the Mini Assassin Ninja hides in a blade of grass passive tank with a little autoloader. And then what is arguably probably one of, if not the best, certainly at tier 8, medium-esque light tank. The light tank that can swing to be in a medium probably better than any, especially at tier 8. And maybe across the board, one of the best at being able to do so. So we have very different play styles for three different tanks at the top. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and then we'll do some gameplay and we'll come up with what the number one, what the best tier eight light tank is. All right. So we'll jump over here and we've got the NA recents for 60 days light tanks at tier eight. And we will go ahead and order them by win rate. And what do we get? Well, we get the EVR, the even 90 and the LT432, the three suspects that I already talked about. Interesting to me that the Senlac is up there as well and the best We'll just throw that out as well. The best tech tree tank in win rate is the LHMTV. Do you remember, do you remember, my friends, when all the prognosticators came out and just bashed the British light tank line? I'm just going to leave that there. Yeah, there's a couple that are stinkers. Most of them are good, if not great, for tech tree tanks. Senlac right there, LHMTV. What, do you, what more do you want? All right, DPG. Uh-oh. EBR is at the top. Then we have the LT-432. The Hawk sneaks in, and the Even 90 gets down to 7th, at least as of right now with these stats in the last 60 days. 
that hurts it. That's a bit of a knock on it, I would say. So its DPG is a little bit low, but that's not really the way it plays, is it? That is not really the way it plays. Well, it's got the auto loader, so closeout potential is nice. Frags, we have the EBR, the LT, the EVA 90 is in third. Damage, EBR, ELC is second. Damage ratio, sorry. This has a lot to do with hit points, but even with the LT 432's decent hit, hit points, it's up there. Kill to death, EBR, ELC, LT 432. Survival, all right, even 90 jumps up there, right? The little stealthy, sneaky guy. And look at the little LHM TV making an appearance in the top two under survival, a very similar play style. Survivable because it sneaks around a lot. And then when we get spots, we got EBR, ELC, 432. So the EBR has more second places, really, than the 432. I did the old number thing where I just gave assigned a number uh, according to its place in all of those different categories right there, minus 1.8. I did not use that. And added them up in the lowest point score, 1, essentially. And guess what? It's a tie. Even with the even 90 being 7th place, it's got more second places and a first place thrown in there. And it actually comes up with the same number of 19. So we have a virtual tie. I think if we simply just look at the numbers, the EBR wins, right? So it's number one. Really, we're fighting over number two, or if you want to look at it, the best tank, light tank that's not wheeled, because there, there's a lot of issues with the wheeled tank and comparing them directly with the other light tanks. So EBR kind of wins. What's, what's the number one tracked light tank, even 90 or LT432? Well, there's one thing I think that's going to and I haven't used this every time, I know, so that's fine. Uh, you t call me, uh, hmm, what's the word, not consistent, that's fine, don't care. Battle number. Holy cow. So those two are, in fact, the two most played, but the EVA 90 is the most played by a considerable margin, another 200,000 battles. This is why you cannot play a tier 8 game without seeing an EVA 90. They are just covering up tier 8. Well, they are everywhere in terms of light tanks. It's very surprised actually the EBR is not as popular as it is. I think what you have here are, it, because its skill ceiling is so high, you have some very loyal adherents to it who play it and do really well. So I'm going to look at this and I'm going to give the nod to the ELC of a 90, but we may actually end up playing more than just a, more than just one tank here. We will jump into the ELC of a 90 since I'm giving it the nod there as the number one light tracked tank and kind of disregarding the the wheeled tank it also has a, the wheel tank the ebr has a lot less battles but you're talking 373,000 battles lots of different people playing this thing lots of skill levels playing it very popular tank and does very well so we're going to say ebr and we're going to give the i think we have the lhm tv there as i remember the lhm tv as far as tech tree tanks ends up being at the top of just about everything here Yep, absolutely. Spots kind of loses out on spots and win rate it's number one. So the in my opinion, then the number one tech tree tier eight light tank goes to the LHM TV. Believe it or not, my friends. Believe it or not. And I happen to like that tank as well. A little bias going on right there. So let's jump into the ELC even 90 and check it out here. First thing we'll do is get rid of that and we'll jump into the even 90. The crew that I use in the EVA 90 is my EBR 90 crew. It's the same crew that I use in my EBR FL 10. But when you run it in the EVA 90, you're only using three crew members. That's one of the kind of pains about it. I'm running optics, binox, and a CVS. I think what I'm going to do is drop some natural cover on there. So just up the camo just a little bit. Not using any special stuff. I don't have any food going on. That gets us to a concealment of 45%. It can go quite a bit higher than that. It can absolutely go quite a bit higher than that. Uh, let me stand by a second while I sort some stuff out and then we'll go play again. <laughs> classic, absolutely classic. This is what happens when you do the old, I will play one game and you get what you get kind of thing. <laughs> we got Himmels, Dorf, Dorf, Himmels, Himmels, Dorf, Dorf, Himmels. Isn't that something, my friends? Isn't that something? Well, we're going to try something here. As I recall, there's a very small bush over on the west side. And I don't even know if it's still there, if I can remember how I got to it. 
Let's see what happens though. We do have several other light tanks. We've got the CMCD, the T-71, or the 1357. We have a 432 and a 6x6. So this is probably not going to work. More than likely the 6x6 in front of its spun out here on the lawns. More than likely the 6x6 is going to rage in there as well. I don't want to clip you. There you go. Well, all the light tanks look this way. And as I recall, there was a little bush there that I could get into. Thank goodness the 6x6 went that way. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see. There it is. There it is. There's this one right here. Now, here's the question. Can I get into this? There we go. And this may not be the one I was thinking of. Let's move up. Let's move this one up here. Is, did I just use this tree? Or am I just imagining things? It's possible I'm just imagining things. Yeah, I think it was that bush back there, but it was a specific situation, and maybe they've actually changed this map since then. We've got all kinds of white guys and small guys coming this way to the Mr. Squid. Okay. That did give me a lit, so we'll just back out of that. And unfortunately, what I, fortunately or unfortunately, kind of whatever you want to look at it here, I am going to be forced to play more of a combat role on this. Okay, so the Scorpion's pushing in. question is, does he have any backup behind him? He's sort of brave. I didn't see anything right there. There has to be someone around here though, right? That worked out. Six by six is raging through. And they do own the hill, that's not good. I'm gonna get in here and try to help against this 432. I need help. Yeah, everyone needs help, my friend. Everyone needs help. Ship ticks getting pushed a little bit here. Enemy armor is damaged. Really could have used a. Uh, really kind of needed a. Oh, there we go. This guy's gonna try to come to me. I think he is. Oh no, he just missed me. Small, I'm a little guy. I'm a little guy, you can't see me. Did you notice? 11 seconds. Uh oh, those guys definitely notice. I'm in big trouble now. Big trouble now, friends. Well, they're just... Okay, guys. Oh, we won! <laughs> okay, well, I just avoided... Uh... <laughs> Oh, there you go. That's and that is how you eve a ninety, my friends. That is the that is the <laughs> quintessential ELC even ninety battle. You just wander around, shoot a couple things, and win on a cap. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. What did we do? Well, we didn't do a whole bunch. We did eight hundred thirty-one damage, and we won on a cap. That was crazy. Let's play another one. You know what that. That was silly enough. Which Let's do the EBR. Let's just flail around in the EBR and see what that guy looks like. All right. Not the best EBR map, but we'll see what we can do right here. Uh, I have a tendency in EBRs to put them on their side. I'm one of the only players that's able to actually uh, turtle an EBR. I've done it multiple times on stream and in videos. Nobody else seems to be able to manage that, but I do. I am running vents, optics, and I think a vert stab on this thing. No artillery, a Lynx, and an LTTB. All right. Terrible view range. We do have the X capability on this thing to go faster. I'm going to come up here and see if we... I don't know if this thing actually has the spotting room. It's one of the problems of not playing a tank very much. 
I may not. Ooh. Rubo. Okay, what, what is he doing? He's going that way. Okay. Oops, a little late. I don't think I did that spotting, though. That wasn't me. I don't think it was. Oh, there we go. There's another fella right there. Nothing. I got no shots. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll hit C. We'll hit X. We'll go faster. We're going backwards. Remember this thing goes... Uh-oh, that's not good. We have two... Our 252U and our 7501, our AFK. That is no bueno. No bueno. That guy's trying to take the hill. This is a tier 9 battle. That's unfortunate. There's no arty to really rage into the backfield and harass. So, to a large extent... Can I do this without taking damage? Yep. Awesome. Barask is up in the bush. It's probably got me proxy lit. Yep. Alright, so I can't really do that. This is just rough all around, my friends. I'm just having a rough time with it all around. That guy's over on the... We took a hit. That's nice. Wait, how did he... Okay. I guess they saw me coming. I don't know. That was strange. Lit him on fire, but didn't get any uh, further action out of it. Lerva's way over there. He's looking at me. He's not want to come around that corner. Pretty much a one shot to him at 367. It'd be nice if somebody pushed him. Oh, they're going to be just staring at us. So, here's the question. Now, the maneuver out of spots like that is not easy with this thing. Now, see, I can't go all where I wanted to go. I wanted to go around the corner and go behind that bush, but that T-54 sort of got me flummoxed there. Is that kind of oh, that was dangerous. That could have got me killed. Is he still alive? No, he's dead. Loss of essay. Where's this dude? There we go. There we go. One and two. Oh, a ricochet. Come on, reload, baby. He's not going to still be there, is he? Oh, stay there, buddy. There you go, my friend. Well done. We're tracking him again. Nice. Oh, yeah, we got this dude. Somebody kill him. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. I'll do it. All right, we're going to hit C. We'll get the reloaded here. Things are going well. What's this 122 doing? Is he shot? Gotta watch the forward and back with this thing. Okay, so we'll knock the building down just so we can get a second shot in. That works for me. He's lit again. I'm not getting lit here, so I'm not too worried. I don't want to stick my butt out too far, or the 122 will probably see me. Is he gonna make a runner? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Okay, what's going on over here? Check the other side. Hit C, get reloaded. Let's see if I can get some shots from over here. We're still using the not fast version here. Oh, this guy's shot. Ammo bounce. There we go. Ammo rack. I'll take it. Like I said, the EBR is the best tier 9 light <laughs> Or something. I can't really challenge him, but he, I don't think he's looking. Well, here's the question. Can I come screaming around the corner and just be a complete moron? I don't know, maybe. Why not? Let's see what happens. Oh, that sucked. Shaved all my speed off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just help take down the behemoth. We'll hit X for speed. I didn't come off the hill with speed. That was dumb. There we go. We ran that guy. So let's just go in here like morons. I feel like some HE for the ship tech, my friends. Ram. Oh. <laughs> I 
couldn't quite couldn't get I came off the I came off the accelerator to get the sharp turn but it, <laughs> it didn't work like I said the EBR is the best tier, tier 8 light tank my friends <laughs> let's you know what we're gonna play the LHM TV come on let's keep going just so you can see what happened here we'll go ahead and apply that because I do not have field mods on this thing we did uh, 2338 two kills 907 21 shots, 19 hits, 12 pens. There you go. All right, next. All right, I lied. I don't know. I might. The video's getting long at this point, so to speak. And uh, But I wanted to show you more of the combat side, the 432. Since he was in vying for number one, and the LHMT is just the tech tree number one tank, we'll play the 432. We've got an all tier 8 battle. We do have a couple already. There's two even 90s. That's tough. That is tough. See, look at this. Three of the light tanks in here are even 90s. It's just tier 8 is covered up in even 90s. I'm running vents, a rammer, and optics on this tank. None of it is gold or bounty, or none of it is bond or bounty stuff. And I'm not running food or anything. I'd really love to get to up the hill, but between the two arty some pretty accurate guns. I don't think I'm going to make the hill. We might try a little later. We'll see how it all pans out. What I'd really like to do is find out what is coming at us here. That one, you can go through. Probably going to eat an arty shot. I should have held off on shooting that, to be honest. Both even 90s came up here. Because I could have got us some, uh, there we go. Maybe some arty. I was looking maybe for arty to give me some uh, spotting damage there, but that's not happening, is it? All right, big push down to the donut. What is going on with my team? They're all, they're all just getting stuffed. Getting stuffed. That's no good. It's no bueno. Here's what we're going to do. I'm oh, sorry, dude. Pardon? I'm going to try to get to the corner. Although the even 90s are up there, so that's no good either. I think both got up the hill. I don't know, man. This is bad. So I wanted to go wide, but I think I suffer at the hands of the even 90s if I do that. So let's see if we can kind of keep these dudes spotted. And our even 90 can't make it. He's going to try to run. Okay, he's got away. That's good. Oh boy, this is just not good. This is not good. I'm going to make a bold move and I bet it doesn't work, but we're going to try to get around this corner without getting seen or hit. At least not hit. There we go. He didn't seem to like it. Okay, got him. Would have loved to not take that hit. He reacted really quickly. Not good, Danny. I mean, that IS-5's there, that dude's there. Sante is maybe out in the flat. Uh oh, Ferdinand just saw me. That's not good. Now I'm sort of trapped. Both of the even 90s are still up on the hill. Is Ferdy coming up here? He is coming up here. That's no bueno. Is he just going to come at me? Sort of changed what he was doing there, didn't he? He sort of shifted and then started coming up sideways. So where is he? All right, we're starting to get a win. All right, I like this. I like this. Oh, are you kidding? How? Snap me like that? That is so disappointing. So disappointing.
cannot believe that he figured out how to get... First of all, that snap was ridiculous. I shouldn't have kept poking him, man. That, <clears throat> that could cost us the game right there. Because that was the only thing sort of holding that little section down. All right, well, there you go. Little combat uh, 432, but only ended up with 191 damage and 428 assist. That is unfortunate. I just po played poorly against the Ferdy and he got lucky. Especially on that snap, it was ridiculous. All right, cool. All right, we'll wrap this thing up. Uh, we're not going to play the LHM TV. We already got a 25-minute video going on here. Maybe re-attack re potentially in the in the near future with best tech tree tanks. We're going to stick with just the best right now. Kind of a bad result on the obviously on the LT432. A funny result on the Even 90 and had a pretty good game with the EBR right there. So we take a look at this. We are calling it like I said for the for the. Even 90, despite me not playing it that great. I'll try to figure that out. There we go. So number two in win rate. Uh, the EBR, number one. I think the EBR is the best air quotes, light tank. It's got all the best stats across the board. People really do well. And in fact, the win eight difference is, is pretty astounding at over 300. And even the win rate is 2% plus higher than the Even 90. So in terms of performance, it just does better. But... It has many fewer battles. The Even 90 is the most played light tank. It is a tracked, traditional tracked tier 8 light tank. So I'm giving it the nod as the number one with the understanding that the EBR is kind of a special uh, overpowered situation going on right there. Did we win that? Hey, we won with the 432. It just came back. Fantastic. <laughs> did we win all three games? I think we won. We ended up winning all three games despite two of them. I did more or less nothing. And we're going to call the 432 as number two with the LHM TV as the best tech tree tier eight light tank. So congratulations to the ELC even 90, which is a tank that you simply cannot play tier eight without running into. There you have it. Let me know what you guys think down below. BS, not BS, what's your opinion? I know there's gonna be a couple in there. What other tanks would people like? Uh, I like the 4190 quite a bit. The, the Senlac's pretty good. It's got some interesting things going on with its HEN gun. The Batchat 12T is another little sneaky assassin. The Hawk 12 is pure garbage. <laughs> it is. The Hawk 12 is hard to like. Although the uh, the Bulldog is the last in terms of win rate down there. And then the LTTB is not that great either, but I happen to quite like the LTTB, especially when the T50-2 was taken out. And that was the only thing at that point, and this was years ago, that kind of moved around that quickly. We have a lot more things that are faster at this point. That is all I've got for today. Let me know, like I said, what you think down below. We will see you.